So I got a call from Earl. You guys may remember him from making those lifted can for us. He told me he's got a new surprise waiting for us at his shop. And I got one for you guys, our new surprise. We upgraded from the Dodge into a GMC 2500. The reason we had to upgrade is because we got this awesome rack installed. We can throw Polaris's Can-Ams, basically anything we want on top of that rack. Uh, he told me to bring a trailer and that rack on top. The thing that Earl built out for us is a Can-Am Maverick XRS. The same one as this, except it's got four doors on it. Yes sir, that's right. So it's pretty cool. I want to pick these things up. And they are totally redesigned. There's a lot more features, different tires, all kinds of crazy stuff with more options than the two-door. Since it's Sunday, we're going to pick up these right now and get them ready for Monday. And maybe we'll uh, have someone else come and buy those. Like that one TikToker that came in the other day and bought both the lifted can -Ams. I hope you guys are excited for this one. So if you guys want to see more crazy videos like this, hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel. We're uh, about to hit 40k. So hit the subscribe button today and join the gang. Well, you know our usual route down to this shop. If we haven't already memorized this path, we might need to go back to first grade. The tailgate on the back of the truck does need to stay down when we have the rack on. We can take the rack off pretty easily. Well, let's race in front of this guy. There we go. And I can show you guys that once we get back to the shop. It's pretty simple too. We just unscrew some bolts. There's not many of them on it to hold it in place. And it's uh, really light and durable. I think it's made of part carbon fiber. But I'm excited to get these four doors into the shop because we've never had them before. We've always had these two doors. If you think about it, there's a lot of families of four with kids that want to go off-roading with their parents as well. And uh, that's what we're thinking with when we made these purchases. We bought two of them to start off with and maybe we'll buy a couple more down the road. We'll see how well sales do. I'm pretty sure they're to do amazing and on one of them we did get custom tires and rims on one it's a four seater so these things are the next level up we're gonna be hanging in the left here let's go ahead and stop oh boy this thing's pretty heavy this truck rides really smooth as well it can tow just about anything there is i'm wondering what it's gonna be like when we get something on top of the roof if it's gonna be too top heavy but uh well it should be all right now some may say the top rack looks a little tacky. I think it looks absolutely killer. And then we have foldable ramps we drop down and we can just get those direct access to the trailer. I'll show you that when we pull in. When we unfold these things, I don't think Elon Musk could come up with a better idea. And you know that guy, man, he comes up with some pretty crazy and smart ideas. So I'll see you guys when we pull into the shop. It's right up here. All right, here we go, back at the custom shop. Okay, left them out front. Key should be in the back compartment, he said. Okay, now here's for the unfolding component, electric over hydraulic component. And we just go ahead, lower it down there. We have a little switch in our truck. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. So we'll load up onto the trailer and then drive it up to the top rack here. Now for the main event, the four door Can-Ams. Look at that custom interior. We got different color packages on both. Even when these things are full of filthy mud, you can still see them. No way. We got coolers on the back of these both. All right, keys are in him. Let's see if this thing fires up here. I mean, of course they fire up. They're brand new, but uh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Now that sounds pretty cool, guys. All right, he told me these things are really touchy. Speed's over 100 miles an hour. That's pretty fast for an off-road vehicle. Let's check out some light components here. Okay, we got neon pink out front. That's pretty cool. Light up Maverick X there. We have stage one lights. We have stage two. We have the huge light bar on top. That'll for sure light up the forest. All right, well, let's load this one up on the back of the truck. Now, before we do, I want to show you the two different components we have on them. Now, check out the width of those tires. We got wider ones on these ones. Same rims as those American Force, actually. Those are pretty custom as well. And then these ones have a little bit thinner one. The tread is thicker, and uh, it'll probably do just as good as that one in the mud. But for stability, this one will for sure win. Look at the huge shocks on this thing, too. I think it might be bigger than the other one. All right, load this up nice and easy. This thing is so touchy. All right, we got two straps down there. That should work out pretty good. Here's what it looks like up front. That's what it looks like from down below. Pretty cool. And then we got to grab the orange one here. And we can load this one on the trailer. We'll back it on. We'll keep some of the weight on the back end of the trailer. Level everything out. Because the engine's in the front here. Now one thing Earl told me was the performance on these things are way different than the two doors. So we'll be able to get some test numbers and check these things out since they are custom builds. So he custom welded all of the roll cage inside. You can see up here. And then he added these custom doors made for him. And then he got a couple new seats. Yeah, this thing, guys, is impressive. And these things are super long as well, so I'm not sure how that'll handle. I'm pretty sure these do well on trails. I think that KM did a test event uh, not too long ago. All right, well, let's head out of here. We got the KM on the roof. Get back to the shop. The back tire is literally hanging off the back rack here. So we threw a bunch of straps up top. You can kind of see it getting a little top heavy when I sway back and forth. 
No cop, no stop. Here we go. We're on a roll today. We're going to take the ferry back across this time instead of going over the bridge. And we'll be ready to uh, put these things on the track. Do a little bit of mudding. All right, we're back on the east side of the resort island. Oh boy, here we go. We'll be able to turn here nice and easy. Then watch the suspension go back. Yeah, this thing is probably pretty heavy. And let's talk some numbers on these things. So what we're looking at for about one Can-Am is an MSRP of $45,000. That's a very great deal for what we're doing at dealer price. The two doors are running around 35,000. So you're looking at about 10 grand more for twice as much. And those are competition deals. So we'll be able to get a bunch of customers in and they'll buy our product because it's the same thing everywhere else, but we have a way cheaper price. And then it'll just drive more and more people in. And when that happens, we raise the price on them and make some profit. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead. We're pulling up right now. Let's pull around back here. We'll start unloading things. So I just undo the straps here and then we're going to unload the orange one first. I'm going to show you the whole process of unloading. Fire this one up. The sounds are great on this too. We got a brop sound on it. Park that up there. And then the next step is we got to get the ramps out and we'll connect them to the back. Okay, ramps are good so we can back it down the trailer and the ramps. Fire it up here. I will right, back this one down. It's pretty easy unloading. It's almost like a staircase and then we should be good there. We got park and brake down there. I think we have, yep, push, start, and stop. And then we should have USB phone chargers. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool, guys. We got the full roll cage and there's the back doors. It's pretty crazy thinking you got two other people behind you. But this thing is probably way more safer and durable as well. We did option them out with both coolers because I think that's like the number one thing people would use. Like last time, the lifted can we had to do a test. Now these aren't very lifted, so we're not climbing any walls today. We'll go around the side here and just take the back entrance. I don't want to bottom these things out or scrape anything. Here we go. Send it up the first one. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, let's get some speed. Now we're on the trail now. Alright, now we're going over the couple bumps here. Alright, looks good. Let's bank our turn. These things are pretty fast. We're getting 45 right now. Alright, we're going back on the sides here. And for the final jump, we cleared it all the way over here, boys. Pretty sweet. Let's see if we can do kind of a wall climb. Alright, come on. Okay, it got up and going. I thought we were almost stuck there. Send it. Alright, let's put this one in the showroom. I think it's still pretty clean. So when they walk in the door, we're going to tell them everything we know about the Can-Am Maverick XRS. Oh my gosh, the sounds on this thing sound amazing. We'll put this one back here. They take up quite a bit of space in the showroom. That's always good. It makes it feel like it's uh, more welcoming and just a bigger dealership all around, which we're aiming for more customers. But what another great Sunday. We got some work accomplished and another week of sales. So let me tell you our weekly sale report we had. With the new lifted can in the store, we sold both of those to that famous TikToker guy. And we had a couple other sales on ATVs, online orders as well. And we did a total of $416,000. With these new can we're going to have probably more projected sales. I'm guessing around the 600000 and that is amazing for a week of sales at a small power sports store. So that's a high number. We'll be able to reach that goal in no time. And about the rack story, we're about to maybe become a dealer for those. And we'll figure out how to install those. Let me show you how we get it off. So what we do is we just go ahead and detach here. And we detach it from the gooseneck where its main attacher point is on the bottom. Electric stands unfold and then this thing is just floating in air. It's pretty cool. We have the ramps in the back of the truck right there for when we're unfolding them. So we'll be a dealer for these pretty shortly and uh, we'll be able to sell these to customers as well and they'll be able to take more and more vehicles than usual. Well, what a fun video today was getting a four-door Can-Am. Those two doors felt so small and we uh, decided to go big with a new custom Can-Am four-door. So hit the like button for me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.